Hello, Gen X friends. Check out the photos you all sent in so that we can show our Gen Z kids that our Halloween was straight up demented. Because in the 80s, we were mostly Clowns. blood red lipstick, Clowns. lifeless eyes, Clowns. our dad did our makeup, Clowns. this one is with McDonald's fries, Clowns. 1980s Halloween night, mom gave us a shopping bag and a flashlight, it wasn't just our street, now we walked really far, it's a wonder none of us would run into a car, there was no Amazon, so mom and dad made a costume with whatever they had. Here's mommy's scarf, you're a pirate scallywag Or hey, you are groceries, climb into this bag We had these old masks we would put on our head The plastic they were made of had a fair amount of lead Then we put it on our face and we breathed into it And it cut into our skin cause they were sharp, sharp as shit. We thought that the masks made us all look cool But looking back they are total nightmare fuel Strawberry shortcake Nightmare fuel Cabbage Patch Kids Nightmare Fuel My Little Pony Nightmare Fuel Smurfs Nightmare Fuel Let's talk about the face paint, y'all Back then it had a whole bunch of sus chemicals We put them on our face and our eyes And what's more, we got all sweaty And then it got into our pores Our wigs were in no way flame retardant There were quite a few fires that should've started When you're posing with your grandpa on Halloween night And he's right next to your wig with a fully lit pipe The costumes were made of some sort of polymer It dangerously raised our body temperature When we got home after doing our rounds We had all lost about 17 pounds but we couldn't eat the candy, we all savor Because our mom had to check it out for razors That is a true story. The candy razors were almost as scary as the Clowns! Mom drove you to the hospital Clowns! To an x-ray machine Clowns! To make sure it didn't have any razors Clowns! No, we got nothing on a Gen X Halloween Clowns! Clowns. Okay. Ken actually didn't believe me, but it is true. Remember the razors and the candy thing? My mother, she wouldn't let us eat our candy right away. She would inspect it. So my cousin's mom, like my aunts and uncles would drive their kids to the hospital and x-ray their candy. My mom was like, I think it's probably <laughs> fine. Just chew slowly. <laughs> so we... <laughs> So but I just bite into it a little bit. This is like, if, if, if it if looks guns, like if you start, start bleeding, bleeding, stop chewing. Then we'll go to the hospital. Um, my mom also, I will give it up to Peggy. She did make her fair share of costumes. They were, I had some good homemade costumes, but I really wanted the gross plastic one because that's what all my friends had. Sorry, I'm dominating here. Kids these days that have Halloween superstores and they have catalogs sent to you, they don't know. These children do not know. You just said kids these days. Oh, you're so weird. <laughs> <laughs> Gather round, kids. Grandma Kim's gonna tell you a story about Halloween and about how we maybe, just maybe, sliced our mouth open for a Mr. Good Bar. Oh, and then remember, there's always the lady that gave you, no, 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 I'm not stopping. Okay. okay, there's that lady that gave you like the little box of raisins and you had to pretend to be grateful. And you're like, I'm not even gonna put these in my oatmeal. What are you doing? Okay, anyway, happy Halloween. Check out the whole thing is family.com. We got a game you can try and a book you can buy and some brand new merch to try on. Can you tell we're busy? Yeah, we also have a podcast and a blog.